Hello. Today, I am doing something new. I'm going for gold. I'm gonna strike gold. I'm gonna be rich. Yeah. I love it out here. It may not look the prettiest to some people, but I just absolutely love it. So I only brought my GoPro today, just in case it gets wet. Um, that was my thought process, but then I realized that uh, I actually have both my GoPros and none of them are waterproof right now because I have it so I could do like an external battery. Um, I thought the river would be actually a lot higher today, but it's not. I mean, at least they're letting the lake fill up, so that's good. So hopefully there's nobody in this spot. There's only one way in, one way out. And hopefully I don't side swipe uh, a log again. I still have the dent in this truck and it's the tight area. Hold on, bear with me. Tree right there, log right there. No one back here. They got rid of a lot of this debris that was here. Ah, oh, cool, there's some garbage. People are scumbags. Seriously though, like what in the meth were people doing out here? God, just clean up your mess, people. Like, quit being fucking scumbags. You're ruining it for everybody else. Is this where I'm gonna be working? Looks like somebody drove down here. Um, pretty much along this bank right here. Just right in there. It's just, it's all gonna be flood gold. There's not gonna be anything worth quitting your job over. But what I'm gonna do here is just do a couple test fans and then I will, uh, should have brought a fishing pole. And then I'll uh, pretty much run my sluice and bring all the concentrate home and run it through my, uh, it's like another sluice for inside my garage uh, to get the really fine stuff out of there. So I'm gonna get everything unloaded and get started. All right, first thing I'm going to do is get the sluice set up. Oh, this is gonna suck, because I can already feel the water through my boots. It's that cold. So I'm gonna get set up real fast. So I'm just gonna take a little bit. I'm not really looking for good stuff right now. This is not turning out well. I'll throw it in there. I'm just doing this for a test on my sluice. It's all wet sand so i'm just literally taking like that i don't think the water's flowing good enough i'm gonna go ahead and just dump this right there i'm gonna let it sit for a minute and it's not all this light like the light color stuff is not heavy so it's just it should be going through, so I don't have enough. Whoa, and I just screwed everything up. So I tried this whole sluice thing for over an hour. It's just not working out. I suck at setting up a sluice. Uh, I only done it like two times, and the water's either too slow or too fast, or like I could get it set up, but it's gonna take a while for me. I wanna put legs on it so I can put it in like any water and adjust it real quick instead of stacking rocks, because that just sounds a lot better to me here's my plan i'm gonna find a spot where there's gold i'll do a test pan and after my test pan i'm just gonna keep digging there i'm gonna fill up my little uh, three gallon bucket uh full of classifieds i'm gonna bring that home and then uh, i'll just see what i have when i get home so that's my plan so I just classified all this down a quarter inch. If you don't know what that means, that's a classifier. Everything that's smaller than a quarter inch will go through that. I'm not gonna be able to do this with one hand. Damn it. So I'll, I'll be back again. All right, so I'm getting to the last bit where I can actually do this with one hand. And I see a lot of black sands. So once I get 
down to this like this much I like to turn the pan and I like to go on the smooth side call me stupid I don't care I also don't really know what I'm doing too much all right I don't need two hands for this next part I don't even know if you will see that there's a few in there they're really small like that's one right there that's one right there where's where's the other one at is that it right there i think i'm gonna fill up a bucket and take it home my wife loves it when i bring dirt home it's so nice out here though i also got some water in my boots that sucked it's cold seeing a little bit in a dimly lit garage all right so here's basically what i'm going to do I have this old oil pan right here. Take a little water right here. Huh? Pour it in. Yeah. How about that? Okay. That's going to leak out. I didn't really think that would work. But basically, strainer right here. There's a lot of nasty like hair and shit in this water. I'll take a scoop of the dirt that I got. And I'll throw it in this strainer right here. And I'm just going to shake it. I'm going to last all this. Then make it through. I'll throw it in this other pan. Yeah, I'm going to get a better angle on everything because this is kind of garbage. So here is sand. All this is what fit through the kitchen strainer. And all this is what didn't. It's more gravel. I am going to pan this. Uh, and then I'm going to run this guy through my bench top sluice. I don't know what it's called. Just it's like, it's basically a sluice box for your home. I'm going to take a little bit of a palm olive, you know, it's a refractant. I think I said that word right. So basically it will break the surface temperature to s yes, surface tension of the water. It's going to bubble up a little bit. That's okay. So use a small gold pan I might speed this process up because I've never done that before so let's see what happens So gold is heavier than pretty much everything in the waterways, uh, even lead. So oh, look at that, that's a big old piece of pyrite. You see, I don't know if you'll see it shining on my finger. It's probably too blurry. But yeah, fool's gold. The dish soap, so it could be really any kind of like soap. A lot of people use jet dry because uh, it doesn't bubble. But the gold, even though it's so heavy, the uh, very light pieces will float away. Uh, the very small pieces. So this just helps it all stay down at the bottom. So if there's any lead, fishing weights, um, I found we found a lot, a lot of iron, and that's good. When you find lead and iron, you're, you're in a good spot because that's where all the heavies are falling. The heavy rocks, dark rocks, whatever. Um, that's where all of them are falling. So you're in the right, you're, you're looking in the right area. I'm trying to give you an idea. Let me, let me try something. All right, so I'm gonna put on the middle finger, that's a piece of lead. It's just little tiny. Some of these gravels are bigger. I'm gonna throw. Three scoops, scoops on there. Drop that in there. So by agitating like this, it's separating the rocks. Like right now, it's you know hard packed. But when I agitate it and stick my finger in it, it loosens up. So basically, by agitating, it's going to let that lead fall straight through to the bottom. And that's what gold does. Gold is heavier. So my object right now, to not look like a fool, is to uh not lose that piece of lead into my um, 
bucket deal. And I'm going to pan just like I normally pan. I'm not doing anything different. right there at the top right there's that piece of lead whoa, 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 whoa. where am I right there's that piece of lead now very tedious I gotta make sure that this is at a good good uh, good slope so I'm gonna take a little little spoonful so I'm drop it in Now basically, I want to see everything drop down. We're not at an aggressive slope, so I'm going to kind of keep it high. And then uh, all the gold's really going to accumulate up here more than anything. If gold starts to go down there, then uh, we got a problem. So I don't want to have any problems. The big thing you want to see is uh, inside these little, like the, inside the V-mat, you want to see uh, the dirt basically just dancing around like that guy, that little pebble right there. Um, there is gold uh, right there. That is a piece of gold. There's not a lot though. Now I'm not expecting a lot. Like I said, I mean, this isn't even concentrates. This is just dirt out of a hole. So, um, we get what we get on this situation. Just laying it, kind of cycle through, run through, and kind of get all the lights out of there. Boom. So I got some gold in here. Bunch right there. I'm afraid to lose what I accumulated so far, so I'm going to do a little clean out real fast. Um, and then uh, get back at it. So really to do a clean out, take this mat out. And you got just an, another gold pan. Now I'm gonna kinda dump everything in there and I'll kinda flatten this out. Just like that, roll it back. And everything is going to start to fall out. I'm trying to do this without knocking my gold pan into the water. And that is the best way to do it. Everything's set up the same way and it's going to keep on keeping on. It's the next day. It's it's light out. So here's all my concentrates. Uh, that is everything that I ran through. All that dirt. That's all what's really gonna contain gold. <clears throat> I did a lot of test pans of like all the uh, it's like the the clean dirt. I guess you call it. There wasn't. Uh, I didn't find any any gold in there. So I don't think I lost any. I don't think I have very much. Like yeah, I. I not at all, but on here with all this, I could sit here and I could pan it, but the uh, issue is when I start to bring it back, 
see all that black right there? I know it's a black pan, but that's all black sand. That's uh, that's very heavy. So I'm gonna make it easier on myself, and I'm gonna uh, bake it to dry it all out. We're gonna go ahead and throw it in the oven for a little bit. All this is dry now. Literally it took 10 minutes. And then we're good on that. And I just kicked a bucket of water and it spilled on my foot. What I have is this little neodymium magnet right here. It's on the back of this long, like, steak nail. And I got a pill bottle. That's it. I just, I just stick that in the pill bottle. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of go around. Pick all that up. See all that? That's all black sand. It's all magnetite. I'm going to drop it down. I'm going to do it again. That just helps get rid of all of the uh, the gold out of it because it, it'll hold gold. And I'm, I'm going to pan it also. Then I'm just going to put it in another pan. Then I'm going to just do it again. It's just going to make panning. It's going to make panning a lot easier. Just for reassurance, I'm going to go ahead and pan out all this. I know there's a glare, it sucks, but I'm gonna pan out the black sand, and it's so hard to pan out because it's so heavy. But I do it in a black pan just so I can see the gold easier. So I'm just gonna really just kind of wash it back. Right there, right where the screen is by. I think that's like the only piece in there. There's still a little black sand in here, but there's also black sand that's a uh, not magnetite. Oh, not it's not ferrous. So now all that's left in here is uh, pretty much blonde sand and magnetite. And this is where the painting process you go really easily. I'm just gonna get a little bit out of there. And then, all this is light, so it's actually pretty easy. hard to do with one hand so I'll kind of wash all this back and I'm really looking for you know a lot of this on camera looks looks like gold but if it's falling like this it's not There's a lot of fool's gold in there though so then I'll kind of get this at the bottom just wash this out now if I lose anything everything's contained in here uh, including that black sand so that kind of sucks all right I see some gold you see some sticking out right there all that's gold and you just keep doing this until you get it out you want it as clean as possible really I should be doing this in my blue pan but just doing it it's just easier to see in this one especially for the camera it's all gold right there in the top right but still a lot of black sand it's just sand that did not uh that's not really, that's not ferrous. Got everything cleaned out. I just gotta dry it. There's still a little sand in it, not much. I'll fix that. But uh, <laughs> this is all the gold. All the gold that we got out of it. So that was not even a half bucket. Now, if that was a half bucket, <clears throat> if all that was ran through a sluice, I mean, we, we would have definitely a lot more, but I suck at sluicing. I couldn't get it set up right. Uh, so that's what we get. It's all right. I will master that soon. So I'm gonna take all this. 
um, dry it off. I'm gonna put it in, put it in my little jar, uh, and uh, tell my wife she could uh, quit her job because we're uh, we're millionaires now. Anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, this part always gets awkward at the end. Thanks for watching. Um, if you want to like the video and subscribe, if you're not, that'd be super cool. Um, that's really all I got to say. Uh, so yeah, these outros suck. I don't like them. So with that being said, um, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, uh, share the video. Yeah, I am uh, going to sign off for now. I will catch you in the uh, the next video. All right. I just bean dipped myself with a pair of scissors and it stung.